We should not have people in office that do not believe in, in facts and in truths in modern science uh, that are able to manipulate and risk the entire future of, of this entire generation. So, you know, the more I've learned about this issue, the more I've become terrified, to tell you the truth. I'm doing a new documentary uh, about methane. You've done so much work on oceans, um, the protection of our oceans, the health of our oceans, the fact that so much of this carbon is being absorbed into the oceans, we're actually not even seeing on land the ramifications of the amount of carbon that we're emitting into the atmosphere because the oceans are absorbing so much of it. And they're at capacity now. So I'm really scared. We are at that turning point right now and we're gonna look back at this moment in history and frankly this administration and certain people are gonna be vilified for not taking action. They really are. And it's up to this generation, it's up to all of you to really get involved and make a difference because, as I said in the documentary, what I saw in my travels absolutely terrified me. It was terrifying. Being on this sort of campaign, so to speak, for, for global warming, climate change, you realize the amazing inaction that this country has taken. You go to anywhere else in the world, there is no argument about climate change. There is no argument. People accept it as a fact. This is the only country in the world where we have a political party that argues what is now basically scientific fact. I mean, it's like arguing whether gravity exists or not. When President Trump says to the people of the United States, I'm pulling out of Paris because Paris places an undue burden on the United States of America, my friends, the President of the United States is not telling America the truth. That's just not true. It doesn't place any burden on the United States. It only places what we agreed as Americans we were capable of doing at our schedule, our desire, within our limits of technology.